Hello, I'm Kevin Clanton from Kevin Clanton Painting. Thanks for joining me once again out here at the spray booth. Today we're going to be talking about wall prep. So before you tape off your trim, before you paint your walls, we want to make sure those walls are nice and smooth. This is where spackling comes in. What you want to do is you want to look over your wall at an angle and see if there's any holes or any uh, gouges in the walls, and that's where spackling comes in. Spackling can be applied with either your finger or a putty knife. Putty knife is probably the best case scenario. This will dry in two to three minutes. You go over it with your sanding paper uh, to get it nice and smooth. So your options with your sanding paper is anything from about 150 grit and above. Uh, anything less than that would be too aggressive and it'll cut right into your walls. You don't want to do that. Another great option is a fine to medium sanding sponge. These are great, fits in the palm of your hand. You can do a lot of sanding really easily and they're very cheap. 60 cents for one of these and you're good to go for a whole room. Once you have your holes spackled, you want to make sure that if you're using a satin, eggshell, semi-gloss paint that you prime that so that it doesn't flash. Flashing would indicate that you didn't prime over that spot and it'll show through you'll be able to tell right where the holes went. That's bad. So you can prime those spots with either a primer or flat paint. Very similar, and that'll seal up your spackling uh, spot. You can paint over it, you'll be ready to go, you'll have a great paint job. I hope those, uh, those tips were helpful for you. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please notify me on uh, Facebook or on our webpage. Thanks again. See you soon.